Hey, it's Sally, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the context fill feature in Photoshop CC. So I've got this photo of this uh, 2016 F-150. And typically in the automotive photos, I like to see where the vehicle's going, not necessarily where they've been. So I'm just going to control or command J to duplicate this layer because I don't want to mess with the original photo. I'm going to hide this. And I'm going to scooch this over. So if I want to build a bigger path of where this truck is going, I'm going to slide this over. You can also uh, go up to an... Uh, image canvas size you can adjust the canvas size instead uh, if you want to do it that way uh, but this is the way I'm gonna do it so I've got this empty space here and I want to fill it with stuff that looks like this um, you could kind of cut it and paste it figure out ways to to make it match this but there's an easier way and this is in newer versions of Photoshop. Uh, I think if you're in CS3 or earlier, it may not be available. But after that, I think, uh, it, or it may have started with CS5. So if you have an older version, this may not work for you. So I'm going to click on uh, and use this uh, rectangular marquee tool. And if you don't have the rectangle selected, you want to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to select this empty space here. And it's fine if you get it on the image a little bit. Uh, that doesn't matter. That's fine. So I have it selected here. And I'm going to right click on it and click on fill. So the type of fill I want to use is the content aware. And then I just i am going to leave everything else. I leave the color adaptation unchecked. Blending, I just leave it at normal, 100% opacity, and preserve transparency unchecked. Click on OK. It's going to think for a minute here. And then it will fill this, sort of matching this. So I'm going to go ahead and Control or Command D to unselect. And it's done quite a good job, although this is a little telling that maybe something's off. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go up to uh, the healing tool here, the spot healing tool. So if you don't have that selected, go ahead, left click, hold down, select spot healing to uh, brush tool. Uh, I'm going to keep it about this size here. And then I want this part to stay up here, but these two shouldn't be on here. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag this over, kind of paint over it a little bit. This is the area I want to fix and let it go. And it doesn't look much different, so we're going to try. Sometimes you have to go over it a few times. So that could work. It's got a little curve to it. You could even brush it up a little more. That's a little choppy looking. That's a little bit better. And then up here we can see there's a line. So I'm going to click hold, just go over, clean that up. So that cleaned up. We can go over that section too. So there you go. So we've created more of a pathway for this truck that's going down the river. Um, it does look a little repetitive here, so you may even want to use the uh, the clone stamp here, clone stamp tool. We'll make the brush bigger, so maybe we want to make it look a little more like this. So I'm going to hold down the Alt button and just click down, and then I'm going to go up here, and we'll just kind of. Oh, we don't want to get the truck in there so we'll just start up here go down a little ways and then maybe do alt right here put some of that in there now yep, got too much of the side here
So you can fix it, you can match it to other areas a bit so it blends in a little more. It doesn't look quite so repetitive. And there you go. So that is how you use the Content Aware Fill in Photoshop uh, CC. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, check out my blog at sallyu.com and have a great day. Thanks for tuning in.